Hi there. Today I'd like to show you how we test light fastness in our laboratory using our light fast testing machine. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'd like to focus on the light fastness differences in the two alizarin crimson colours that Windsor & Newton offer in watercolour. Alizarin crimson, which is PR83, and permanent alizarin crimson, which is a combination of PR206 and PV19. As the name suggests, these colours are both alizarin crimsons. This is the original alizarin crimson pigment And this is a synthetic version which is a blend of pigments to reproduce the alizarin crimson colour. However, as I'm about to prove, the light fastness of these colours is somewhat different. The washes of each are cut to size and one half is masked before placing in the light fast testing machine. We can, in a matter of hours, exposed both samples to the same amount of light energy they would receive over a period of 50 to 100 years in normal gallery conditions. The true alizarin crimson is what is known as a lake pigment. This is manufactured by combining a dye with an inert binder, usually a metallic salt. These lake pigments give lovely colours, but as we will see, being a dye is not as light fast as its synthesised permanent alizarin crimson counterpart. As you can see, the true alizarin crimson has faded significantly over its time in the test chamber whereas the permanent alizarin crimson, as the name suggests, shows no fading over the same exposure period. A beautiful colour, whichever you choose to use. I hope you enjoyed this video. Mm -hmm.